Hi. In this video, we will have a look how to loop through all the subsites within a site collection using Power Automate. So this is my SharePoint site. As you can see here, this is my main site collection. And I have got a couple of subsites as well. Okay. So let's go back to Power Automate. Okay. I'm looking the SharePoint connector here. The next, what we want is we want to look how we can loop through all the subsites within a site collection. So there is nothing called get sites. There's no action steps like that. So what we need to do here is we need to use the HTTP send and HTTP request. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to do. First step is send an HTTP request to SharePoint. And the next one here is to configure those steps. So the site address is the um, spinhopsharepoint.com. And then under the URI, the REST API is underscore API slash web slash webs slash question mark uh, dollar. I'm going to select only a few fields only. So select equals title comma uh, server relate to URL. The next step, I'm going to add a compose and set the body there. Okay, let's test this now. Okay, here it is. So that's returned a JSON data set results. So let's go back and look at the history of that. Okay, so to iterate the JSON, what you need to do is copy the output. So I'm going to highlight the whole output, copy that, edit, then add the new step called pass JSON. Okay, the content is coming from the previous output. The schema is click on generate from sample and the copied output earlier, that is a JSON data set I just copied here. Next, I'm going to add another compose. Okay, and here I'm after is the title. Here we go. And put a dash and put the server right to URL. Okay. So as you can see here, because it's returned more than one um, site collections, um, sorry, more than one subsites, that's the reason, uh, you know, the past JSON uh, step recurs a apply to each, which the flow automatically inserted it automatically. Okay. So next, just click on the manual one and try to test this now. Here we go. You can see our AJ team site, CRM docs, employee DB, and so and so. So you can see here all the uh, sites, sites under that site collection. I can iterate via Power Automate. But remember what we need to do here is we need to use send an HTTP request to SharePoint. And then the URI, which is the REST API is underscore API slash web slash webs, question mark, dollar select equals title, comma, server relate to URL. Thank you for watching.